Howdy, and welcome to the show. I've been playing around with a 7-inch LCD and a little uh, uh, driver board, uh, as you can see here. It comes with a little remote and um, multi-input uh, selection, as well as an infrared. So yeah, I'll be playing around with that and using that in a future project. But for today, I actually want to talk about uh, Mophies. All right, Mophies. So if you haven't seen a Mophie before, it's basically a case and a battery, back for a, a battery bank for a smartphone. Uh, these ones are for iPhones, iPhone 4 and iPhone 5. So you slide your phone in, all right, put the case back on, everything still works as it would normally work, but what you have the ability to do is charge your phone um, through a charging port here, which is just a micro USB port. Uh, as well as get an idea of additional battery um, charge and it will protect your phone and charge your phone up to the, the actually these ones are 2000 milliamps so from flat it will charge your phone to 100%. So these ones are going to be a teardown for today. Um, this one's actually a knockoff on eBay, someone selling one that's non-genuine, naughty eBay. Um, not the eBay seller. So the charging circuitry and batteries in these are still completely usable and actually kind of convenient because they take a uh, micro USB input uh, and charge a lithium battery. So if all of that's salvageable, these would be really handy for a future project. But for today, I'm gonna tear down these two Mothies and see what we can get out of them. Okay, just a quick look around the Mophie. Uh, this one's the 4 Mophie logo, standard 30 pin iPhone connector. Uh, the uh, Mophie word embossed in the front of the case. There's a few rub marks on these ones, they have been used. Uh, nothing on the back, and again, the uh, soft rubberized finish is just starting to polish off. The uh, micro USB connector on the side, and when there's charge, you hit the uh, little button and you get a, uh, a, a indicator of how much charge is still in the Mophie's battery. Your buttons are ported out on the side, that does depend on the type of Mophie. Uh, I think these ones are what's called the juice pack air. The phone was inserted into the top and the lid or the, the top part of the case only had buttons and holes, no componentry whatsoever. With the iPhone 5s, and I'm definitely not a fan of these knockoffs by the way, they are nothing like the real thing, but with the uh, iPhone 5 equivalents, the detachment is battery component, large battery component, most of the case slides in from the, from the bottom up, and then this little component at the bottom, which has your uh, lightning connector, um, your charging circuit, your indicator, the little switch to turn the thing on, uh, as well as two small pins that connected to the actual battery and that's how the, uh, the two parts were sandwiched back together with your phone in the middle but because the battery uh, there's actually now a connection between this component and the actual battery um, the uh, knockoff ones the cheap ones weren't lining up very well and basically they are just a really cheap although very hard to tell visually, um, cheap Mophie knockoff, uh, and they are not the same thing. Um, this doesn't last very long, you can actually hear, can't quite hear it, but there's something rattling around in there. Um, but I'm just hoping that the, the battery is not total rubbish, and maybe the circuitry in here can be salvaged, and I'll use it in a future project. So, I'll start with the iPhone 4 Mophie. Let's just, uh, see what we can do. Actually looks like, oh look at that, straight in. Alright, I might lever that out and see what we can do. Can be a bit tricky to try and do this freehand and on camera. And I'm really not being gentle, obviously. Um, but if you're going to do this for yourself, just do be careful. You don't want to be puncturing. Uh, if you're going to use something silly like a screwdriver, like me, you don't want to be puncturing um, the battery. If 
you haven't seen it before, lithium batteries, depending on the chemistry, really don't like um, being punctured. Okay. Here's our little um, LED indicator pipe and somewhat of a, a button. That's just the back plastic. So from this point we can obviously see the battery and the wiring through to the LEDs here which were giving us the, um, the indicator of battery charge. force can do. So a lithium battery pack Okay, lithium ion 3.7 volt, hopefully that's coming through clear. So lithium ion 3.7 volt, um, 2 milliamp, 2000 milliamp hours, 2 amp, and a, uh, a couple of uh, identifying numbers. This particular board obviously has the old iPhone 30 pin connector on there. Just two wires going through. Uh, and that's probably indicative that normally you can have more than two wires coming off a battery going into a circuit board because the, as an example, this um, battery that I've taken out of an earlier project has actually got four terminals for additional information such as the uh, temperature of the battery and the charge, charge rate um, and yeah, how, how full it is, the capacity. So this does not and obviously it's done by this small microcontroller here. When a button is pressed, and I would say that little dome there is the button that is pressed from the outside of the case. Yep, that's probably that equivalency button. Oh, not sure now. Oh yeah, there it is there, the button came out. So there's the button to give you an idea of the charge and the circuitry on this little board providing power through to the 30 pin connector and taking the power in, five volts in through the micro USB, charging the battery. So by itself, that's already usable. I can put five volts in, I can get five volts out. I actually know it's five volts out. Uh, in the Mophies themselves, and you can look it up as to power requirements for an iPhone, but this will give you an indicator here, uh, giving you an idea that the input is five volts at half an amp, and the output is five volts at half an amp. So um, five volt output out of the 30 pin connector, and if I try and tap off that somewhere else, I can get different voltages hopefully, or I'll just run a uh, another small circuit in parallel with this to give me uh, whatever voltage I need out for a future project. So there's the iPhone 4 equivalent Mophie, well Mophie clone, and the battery and charging circuit. Have a look at that in detail a bit later, but let's have a look at the 5 now. Okay, we've got our iPhone 5 clone Mophie, and this one is a little bit different. These ones, um, still difficult to tell that you weren't getting uh, an original Mophie, but the five versions that I've seen uh, since this one was so, um, sent to me have a Mophie embossing, and just a slight etching in the back here with the Mophie brand on it. Uh, and hopefully that will help you distinguish between what is a, uh, a knockoff and a definitely inferior product as opposed to the real thing with Mophie branded on the back here. So let's pull this one apart and see what we've got inside. So the battery is definitely in this bit. And like I said before, you've got uh, two terminals connecting the two halves of the case. Let's get into this part first.
Okay, we've got a couple of tiny little screws here holding this board on. Let's get those out now. And you can see two more screws just embedded in there. Get those out. All right, and there's a very good idea and a very good indicator as to why this one stopped working and um, the uh, quality of the actual product. You can tell by the wiring, it's just really not up there with the genuine product. But the connector here, hopefully that's clear enough, the connector here, and I'll get really close if I can on this. So the connector here, which is taking you through to your actual lightning adapter that goes into your phone. That connector coming through to this little PCB, uh, the connections were terrible and it's obviously broken off at some point. Um, probably lucky it really didn't do any damage to the phone. But yeah, that's just rubbish. Very, very, very poor. There you go. Two Mophies torn down, a bit of circuitry, uh, potentially some usable parts for future projects. So thanks very much for joining me and watching the show. Subscribers are always welcome, so feel free to subscribe, that would be great. And I hope you'll join me again next week.